एंड एन जी बोथ हैज सीन अ गुड रैली ये स्टडी इनफैक्ट ऑयल हैज ब्रीज ट्वेंटी एटी सिक्स लेवल्स एंड एन जी हैज ब्रीज सिक्स पॉइंट नाइन विच आर द वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग रेजिडेंस एन सी सिक्स पॉइंट नाइन फाइव इट फेल टू पास बाय विच इज द नेक्स्ट स्ट्रॉन्ग डेस्टिनेशन सस्टेनिंग अबो सिक्स पॉइंट नाइन फाइव एन जी इज गोइंग टू फ्लाई हाई लाइक वाइज अबो एटी सिक्स इट इफ इट सस्टेन्स डेफिनेटली वी कैन सी अ लिटिल मोर बुलिशनेस नाउ वॉट कैन बी एक्सपेक्टेड आउट ऑफ दीज टू टूडे how to trade how to make profit trading these two we will see with the help of charts and indicators we will try to find out the positions and levels which we can expect where we can enter and make profit so do like share subscribe and comment because missing on to subscribe this channel is missing on the profits do not commit this mistake do press the bell icon also let's start first we we'll look into us crude followed with ng do watch till the end do listen to it carefully now look at the hourly charts on us crude it appears it has to sustain above 86 then and then only we can expect that it is trying to reverse so till 86 do not sell do not buy crude oil now at the same time look at this this is the level at 85.5 which is providing it a very strong support it try to breach twice in this candle but it is sustaining above these levels yes you can sell at 85.4 and then expect 85.2 see the support there at 85.2 and 84.8 is strong and only if it breaks below 84.8 you can expect that we may see little more bearishness else till the time it sustains above these levels certainly it is going to remain bullish now also look it is trading above the 20 period moving average indicating bullishness it has to trade beyond this zone certainly which may call for a little more bearishness else it is still in the bullish zone directional movement is bullish trying to converge stochastic looking downward the macd has crossed over this is divergent this is indicating little more bearishness rsi has come down from the overbought levels look at the two hour charts on the two hour charts too similar is the observation and if you just connect the dots here see this is a squeezing triangle narrowing triangle this is also a flag pattern and if and only if it trades below this zone at 85.4 sell for 85.2 84.8 and then 84.5 and below levels can be expected the next support zone is far below at 84 levels you have to be careful of that the resistances previously are now going to be the support previously we have seen 84 as a stronger resistance now it is going to be the support then 83.8 83.2 levels are also going to come into picture Directional movement bullish, trying to converge. Stochastic looking downwards. MACD willing to converge, cross over for a sell. RSI is still overbought. Same is the observation on the three R charts. But look at the three R charts. See, this is trying to give you a breakout, and hence it indicates little bearishness. And this is first red candle. Possibly, I will wait for the next day, next candle. and we can expect another round of little bearishness 84.8 83 83.8 83.2 levels can be expected only bullish observation only bullish move can be expected if it tries to trade above 86 so in between 86 and 85.4 do not trade for this 0.6 dollars directional movement bullish stock iastic is overbought looking downwards the macd is bullish rsi is overbought and on the 4 hour charts to on the 4 hour chart see here lower highs lower lows so yes possibility for it to rise till towards 86 exist but only bullishness is if it tries to sustain above and bearishness below this levels can be expected there is lot much to cover on the downside and if you look at the 4 hour charts see you can expect 84.5 levels to provide it a support and then below that 83.8 levels these are going to be very very strong support levels see i asked you yesterday to buy at 83.8 and definitely you can expect bullishness directional movement is strongly bullish divergent stochastic is overbought macd is also has seen a high possible it must converge from here rsi is overbought too now look at the daily on the daily charts see after this retracement first green candle second green candle leaving a wick it means there is all probability that a third red green candle can appear in this series and hence 
beyond 86 certainly you can buy there 87 is the resistance where you will find 50 period moving average giving it a resistance and then i will look forward to 88 levels and 88.5 levels this is certainly a good resistance for oil if it tries to rise here it may get a stronger resistance at 89 and 90 dollar levels yes possibility exists that if it tries to trade above 86 certainly more bullishness can be expected at the same time it may try to retrace a little on the downside you have to be careful till towards 84.5 levels and 84 levels in fact 83.8 also is a stronger support so yes it can in fact retrace till there even if it is bullish it may try to retrace till there before it looks over to a bounce back so either try to buy at around 84.5 83.8 zones anywhere there you can take a buy position that is also a good opportunity but breaking below 83.8 certainly it will call for more bearishness else till the time it trades above these levels definitely one can expect that we may see a bounce back a third green candle can be expected 88 levels can be seen so buy above 86.2 sell below 85.4 do not trade for this eight dollars this is what is the target for the day directional movement waiting for a bullish crossover stochastic overbought MACD is divergent and bullish indicating we can see a little bullish move considering this sell at 85.84 but you have to trade with the trailing stop loss 84.8 84.5 83 83.8 these are the levels which it can achieve and a bounce back from there can be expected you have to trail your stop loss if you are short you have to trail your stop loss such that in case of a reversal your trade closes in profit and on the upside you have to you can buy at 86.2 expect 87 and 88.2 levels to be there in fact 89.2 can also be expected trade your positions accordingly trade accordingly trade with the stop loss trade with the trailing stop loss now let's have a look at ng and yes if you want to learn this art of how to take right positions and right entries at the right times you can join my mentorship batch the 16th batch will start from 7th of November, be a part of it, only limited seats are available and definitely you can benefit from the technicals and the strategies which we teach. Also you can be part of my signals group as become a patron and support the effort, reach out to me and only reach out to the IDs and the links mentioned in the channel and video description. My email ID, my telegram ID and my telegram channel ID all mentioned in the video and channel description there are multiple fake accounts available in telegram on my name remember nobody can give you four thousand dollars out of 400 investment to or invest 200 dollars and just get two thousand dollars in 24 hours nobody can do that those who can do it will not ask money from you please refrain from such spammers now let's have a look at ng See likewise here NG is getting support at 6.85 and see the resistance at 6.95. So do not trade for this $1. In fact you can buy at 6.9 but then expect 6.95 at the resistance. So do not trade between 6.85 and 6.95. And see 6.8 is now a very strong support. Below that you can expect 6.75 and below that we may see a sharper drop there till 6.6 .6 levels. Directional movement moderately bullish. Stochastic is oversold. And you can see the MACD is willing to converge here, crossover for a sell, RSI is at the high there. And if you look at the 2R charts, on the 2R charts you will find lower highs, flat bottom, possibly it has to breach out either which way. Directional movement is bullish, stochastic looking vertically downwards, the MACD is bullish trying to converge, RSI is trading flat. And if you look at the 3R charts, on the 3R charts, see it is trying to reverse here, it is still trading in this. Yes, you can buy at 6.9, sell at 6.85. Directional movement, moderately bearish again on the 3 hour charts. Stochastic is overbought, so MACD has seen a high, RSI trading flat. And if you look at the 4 hour charts, similar is the observation. Also look at this. On the 4 hour charts, you will find if you connect the dots, it has seen the highs out there. Time for it to see the lows out there. Yes, if it trades, sustains above 6.95, certainly. You can expect more bullish moves and it may try to trade in the with the bullish momentum. Directional movement bearish, stochastic overbought, the MACD divergent and bullish, RSI is trading flat. And if you look at the daily charts, 
Now look at the daily charts, higher highs, higher lows. This is the first green candle. Possibly a second green candle may appear where it can in fact breathe past 7.2 and plus plus level. So buy above 6.9 but expect 6.95 as the resistance. Beyond 6.95 certainly it will fly high for 7.1, 7.2 levels. And on the downside you can sell at 6.2. 8.5 but then expect 6.8 6.75 as a very strong support and only if it trades below 6.6 .6, you can expect little more bearishness directional movement bearish trying to converge stochastic looking upwards MACD trying to converge and RSI bouncing back from the bottom out there yes still it is trying to trade in this bearish channel remember this fact this is the highs of this channel breaching and sustaining beyond 6.95 it will call for a stronger bullish move be careful there so buy at 6.9, sell at 6.85. On the upside, 6.95 is the next resistance zone, which is going to be a stronger resistance zone. Be careful till 6.95. Beyond that, definitely it will fly. Below 6.8, you can expect 6.75, 6.7 and 6.8. Six levels, 6.64, very strong support and then 6.6. .6. So be careful till 6.6 .6 only and only if it trades below 6.6, .6, it will call for little more bearishness. Then you can expect 6.5 to 6.4 levels again. Below 6.4, yes, it is going to trade further bearish. So take your positions accordingly. Trade with the stop loss, trade with the trailing stop loss. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. Join my mentorship badge, join my signals group, join my Patreon page. Thank you very much. Have a great profitable trading day ahead. Thank you.